Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I hope that you all have had a great weekend. It is actually Valentine's Day today, so if I do get this video up on Valentine's Day, then happy Valentine's Day to you guys. It has been a super relaxing day here today and yesterday I was actually working on a mock-up for a customer and I thought this might be a great video to share with you guys because I truly love sending mock-ups through this way instead of going and designing it in another program and having to recreate it over here. It's just great to be able to design it in the software that you are creating your cut file. So when your customer chooses what they want, it's basically ready to go and be cut and you have the exact sizing and it's pretty darn accurate. So this is how I do it. Um, there are lots of ways to do mock-ups through Silhouette Studio. I, you can do it with t-shirts, you can do it with signs, decals, however you want to do it. But in this particular video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I do wood sign mock-ups. So you can go as simple as you want or as complex as you want. This particular customer, which I actually did change the last name just for privacy, but um, she just wanted, she knew what size she wanted and the stain color and all that, but she was going to leave the layout up to me. And I like to make sure that customers are satisfied, so I wanted to send her a couple of different samples so she could pick which one that she liked and um, kind of go from there. So how I always start off my mock-ups is, is I go over to um, Rectangle because I'm making a rectangular sign, but if you're making a circle wood sign, you can do circles here whatever you want um, but this particular one was just a regular old rectangle so you just rough make a rectangle here and then you can fine-tune the size and this is pretty exact so go over here and change it to whatever size your sign is so it's 24 by 12 in this example and in this part like I said you can go as fancy as you want to so since we were focusing on layout I didn't go as fancy with background and I normally don't with customers just because all they're really wanting to see is what the lettering is gonna look like most of the time but if you're wanting to just look super professional and super fancy then you can put a wood grain in the background of this and I'll kind of show you how to do that silhouette over here in the color panel does have a texture that looks like wood if you scroll down to the bottom but it's not a very realistic stain color. So if you're wanting it to look a little bit more realistic, um, go to Google or even take a picture for yourself and just um, copy the image you want. Go back into Silhouette Studio, paste it in there, stretch it out and make sure it's larger than your side or that your rectangle that you drew. Highlight both of them. Go up here to Object, Modify, and intersect and then it literally makes itself into that rectangle which is really cool look how cute our little sign is so if you're wanting to do it that way you can totally do it that way and if you're wanting it to look exactly like your stain color you can um, go take your own pictures of your own wood signs so that's one way to do it then when you're ready to make your mock-up you just go over there and design your wording just as you would if you're making a cut file and that is as simple as it is Make sure you group it together, make all of your little mock-up samples here. And one very important thing that I like to mention, put numbers on them because <laughs> um, I, in the beginning when I was kind of just starting, I would just kind of throw some signs or whatever out there and they would be like, okay, I like the third one over, fourth row down. And I'm like, oh gosh, which one was that? And you don't want any confusion between you and your customer. So just label it. As detailed as you want it to be so that way they're like okay I like number two or number three and then you can fine-tune it from there and then if you need to send more mock-ups you can but this is just a really simple way to do it so let's get to saving now so I like I mentioned I have the business edition but I used to have the regular silhouette edition and so how I used to save it and I'll show you that one first is I would use the snipping tool now I don't know how it is for Mac computers, but some kind of way that you're able to snip a section of your screen that you want to send. Um, I'm not sure what it's called on Mac, but it's called snipping tool here on Windows computer. So you just go over there, there and hit new, and then you're gonna drag this over the exact um, area that you want to be shown in your picture. And then once it's how you like, you're gonna go up to file, save as and then you're going to save it and it will be ready to be sent to your customer super easy 
And then if you're gonna save it in business edition, or I don't even know if it's in designer edition like this, but I know the business edition, this is how you can save it. And it gives a very crisp, clear image. So you're just gonna highlight the exact section that you want to be shown in your picture. Um, make sure you don't highlight anything else and everything you wanna be seen. Go to File, Save Selection, Save to Hard Drive. And then you're gonna name it here. We'll call this Sample One. And then this is a pretty important part right here. You're gonna go save as type. Do not save it as a Silhouette Studio file because that will only be able to be viewed by people with Silhouette. So more than likely your customer probably doesn't have Silhouette Studio. So save it as a JPEG. I save all of mine as a JPEG. And then click OK. And then right here it's gonna have some um, width and height and all that good stuff. You don't have to do anything right there. I always just save it as it is just because if you compress it anymore, it might distort the picture. So I just leave it the way it is. Now, if you're making a Etsy listing and saving it, there are certain dimensions you do need to save, but in this example, we're only gonna be doing mock-ups. So that is what you do. And then you just hit save and it is ready to be sent to your customer. So that's pretty much it. it this goes for, like I said, if you wanna do decals, you can send them this way. If you're wanting to do um, t-shirts, you just import your picture of your t-shirt and then design it and you can save it and send it through there the same way. Um, all kinds of stuff, guys. It's honestly my favorite way to send mock-ups. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'm so happy to answer those. Make sure to join the Facebook group, Simply Sally DIY. We are almost at 2,000 members on there. So yay. <laughs> and um, I guess I will talk to you guys in the next video, which will be very soon. All right, bye.